Liliana from Vanilla Iconella here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the little projects that I have been working on whilst this lockdown has been on. It's actually been really great because at this stage of my pregnancy, I've still got quite a bit of energy, though it is fading. So I've decided to tackle a lot of the little projects. Now, if you don't know, I am currently 26 weeks pregnant with another baby boy and we are desperately trying to make room in this house for this baby. So we are clearing a lot of the stuff out. So a lot of the projects that you'll see are happening either for the baby or because of the baby. So, but that's where we're at anyway. So there's a lot of decluttering, moving stuff about, making room and actually doing some baby stuff. Now I try and do a little project every day in the afternoon. You know how my mornings go because I did a morning routine for you. Now I'll link it above if you have not seen that. But in the afternoon it's a lot more relaxed, spend time as a family and I try not to take more than an hour on a little project every afternoon. Now you think Surely you, you have done more. And I have, and quite a lot of those projects have been in the baby's room, which I cannot show you yet, but I promise it's coming really, really soon. So anyway, enough of me going on. Let's go into the video. So today's little project is this area here. Now you've seen me do this so many times over the past year and a half that we've lived here, almost two years. But anyway, this is gonna be the baby area. I'm going to move the microwave, which currently lives up there. I'm going to move it here because we will be sterilizing uh, bottles and dummies and all that kind of stuff in the microwave. So I want the microwave to be accessible. At the moment, it works really well up here because I use it maybe once a day, if that. So it's not too bad. So all these books, I'm going to try and put them up here on my plate rack. Paul might have a shelf that he can later on put here for me. I think I will get rid of this. We just don't use it enough. It's, so you can see, that's all it's there for. But anyway, so yeah, this is the project today. We're gonna clear this out and then, you saw that a few, last week or a couple of weeks ago, I cleared up some of this stuff. So this is gonna have the baby stuff. That needs to be down here from food to bottles to dummies to teethers that kind of stuff i want this area to be where the baby stuff can go just after it gets sterilized put away life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly as you guys saw, I didn't put any of the cookbooks up here, apart from my favourite. I put them all in a box and it's in the unit. This is staying for now, but I'll take it off. And then all my cookbooks are in that box there. And now that I've taken the microwave from here, I've put my air fryer, my toaster, my toasty maker and my kettle up here. We do not use the kettle very often because we don't drink tea so and we make 
like pot coffees and proper coffee and stuff so this works out really really well really pleased with this here is how this area turned out we are thinking about getting a new microwave just because this one isn't very big and if we're putting a sterilizer inside we need to have room for that but anyway fairly clean I keep this tray here I usually put stuff that I'm quarantining on this little tray that's there for now so today's little project is washing the first load of clothes for the baby so that will be my project for today So I washed all the clothes that I had from zero to three months and these white little bibs are actually um, first month I think everything else is zero to three but when I put them all together I noticed that these were all slightly smaller than the normal zero to three months so I've actually separated them and these this will be up to a month kind of thing I have um, ordered some some more stuff for the um, up to a month um, but yeah so I've only got like three onesies short sleeved but that's okay um, I can quickly get some more if I need to but it might be that the baby might be more comfortable in the long sleeve ones which I've got six and bear in mind this hello Ethel this will probably only be used for like two or three weeks before he goes up hopefully to another size so yeah I have all of these and um, yeah I'm gonna put them in the top shelf I'm gonna show you
So here is the zero to three months all been washed. I actually washed those little coats before. Yeah, I'll just put it all nicely. And just to show you again the top drawer. It's got all the firstborn. I've got all the socks and hats in there as well. So today's afternoon project is this. We are going to take some of this stuff that is at the bottom here and in here and in here and we're going to move some of it over to these empty boxes and move some of that stuff yeah that we don't need all the time into there and I also want to move most of this stuff into that craft cupboard so let's get started Talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away. I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself but fall in love. I go crazy. Uh -uh. So what you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? progress has been made I've cleaned the table now let me show you how it's looking a lot clearer just very very easy to see everything there is room to grow in here as well and at the bottom there we go it's a lot emptier this has just got some printer paper and this has got other bits and bobs so this is actually it's got all our cards let me turn it that's it and then in here it will be my changing caddy for downstairs this rearranging has created other problems this was in there i've now cleared in here so this is where i'm gonna have like because you can see bags let me just put the light on oh sorry bags aluminium foil still got labels canning stuff and then other bits and bobs here so i'm pleased with that so all this stuff was actually in that drawer so that drawer now is empty and i'm going to move these back into that drawer because here it's not really worked for me but then this is actually gonna go in here 
So I'm going to give this a clear out and a clean and I'll show you the end result. So here's the end result. This works perfectly. This has just got like bits and bobs, bits and bobs and baking bits and bobs. But I can access everything really well. Really pleased with how this turned out. I'm also going to show you how that one turned out. Here it is, back to where it should be. This works so much better for me than putting it in the cupboard in there. Forgot to show you. So a lot of the stuff that came from the craft cupboard, I was putting in these boxes, which I did. And I just labeled them. This one has got blue, what did it say? <laughs> glue gun and label maker. And then at the bottom is just craft. And this one is actually still empty. And then in here, so I've now cleared these bottom shelves for the baby, okay? And just in there, I've just got other stuff. Once I am no longer pregnant, that stuff will go is to do medication and stuff for my pregnancy. And then I've just got some stuff up there which will remain, but I'm pleased with how this turned out. And that is it for this video. I hope you have really enjoyed it. If you want me to film more of my ongoing projects, let me know and I could do something like this again. If not, I won't do it again. Fair enough. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.